Hey guys, welcome. Tyson here. We are in the shop. I wish it was my shop. It's not my shop. It is a cool shop, but it is not my shop. It'll probably make you sick. Keep doing that. It is Russell Dennis's shop. Russell from Mr. Maker. Say hi, Russell. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so Russell, if you guys don't know, is a fine woodworker. He does fine work woodworking and cabinetry here in the Salt Lake City area. And this is his wood shop. Why are we here today? Well, we're here because Russell is gracious enough to be helping me on a project, which there's some things that maybe some of you have been updated with, some of you maybe haven't. So let me give you a little bit of an update. See all of this, what maybe looks like junk lumber over here. All of this came from a very old piano that was my mother's. And when she passed away and I ended up owning the house that we grew up in, nobody wanted it, nobody wanted to move it. It was an upright grand and it weighed a ton. So I have some videos and photos and stuff that I'll share as well of us tearing it down for, excuse me, the lumber. because we're gonna turn it into a few guitars, right, Russell? Two? Two? At least two, maybe more, a couple of an acoustics. And so that's what we have here. So that's why we're in the shop today, is because we are working on the acoustic guitar. So you can see just some like templates here. These are the top, so I'll pull those out. You can get some better views. We have some some backs and stuff in here too. The cool part about this is that we have yet to have to buy any lumber material for this guitar. So this piano was built in the mid 1800s. I can't remember what it was, 18, maybe late 1800s. I'll have to go look it up again. I can't remember, 1860 Russell says, so something like that. and. It, it's been an instrument for so many years and the tops that we're using on these acoustic guitars That material that spruce is the soundboard material. So there's this theory out there that Once wood operates as an instrument like that for so long you you get a different color and tone and sound and things like that. So we're testing it out We're gonna see what it turns out to be um, Russell has made an acoustic guitar 90% of the way already once before and so we're kind of following that template with these ones um, and, and kind of learning as we go so that'll be really fun uh, but yeah like we're using cool hand tools and stuff like the backs are this cool mahogany um, that came straight from the piano itself. And then we have those spruce tops. We have enough mahogany for one set of sides. And then we've got, is it maple or oak? We're using oak, huh? Maybe it's oak. It looks like oak that we'll put on the sides of the second acoustic, uh, trying to use as much of the lumber from the original piano as possible. We have some cool ideas for the inlay. We've got a good buddy of ours that um, has a CNC machine, so he's gonna help us with some inlay cutting and stuff like that. So, yeah. So today's video is gonna be about those types of things. Here's the moment of truth. It's, it, I didn't do anything to it, so the chances of this working are very slim. You say that, but it's Russell. And like a lot of times it just works, so. Yeah. We've got these brace pieces that came off the soundboard. Right, or else the original soundboard? Yes. And these yes. are the braces for that soundboard. So what we're going to do is take this same material and uh, shape them into bracing for the front and backs. We're going to start with the backs, and that's what we're doing today, right, Russell? 
Not quite. <laughs> okay. We gotta make a jig first so that we get some curvature in the back. Because most, I don't know about most, but some guitars have a slight curvature on the top and on the back. Like a, so, a bell? I guess not yeah, a bell like or a dish. Like a dish or like a, a bowl. A little bit of a dish or a bowl. Shallow bowl. Okay. So we need to make uh, we need to make that that dish radius how we want it. Uh, basically in something like this. Uh, and then we also need to make a bill bar press jig thingy so that we can force force those brace pieces. To push the back. To push down. the back. And push, push, push the back. This is this is where you plug Mr. Maker. This is this is where I plug Mr. Maker. Tell everybody to. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing yet, so that's kind of hard to do. <laughs> Custom woodworking. That's so, not specific enough. So this is one of the backs. It's a triple piece back of that uh, mahogany that came from the piano that we then take it down to the right thickness it'll be cut in the shape but what you're saying is that we'll have a radius dish in here and have this cut to the right size and we'll glue the bracing with like a tensioner that pushes this into the bowl is that correct yeah pretty cool. much so guitar making is 90% not actually making the guitar. Well, until you have all the stuff. <laughs>
feel it and see what. It's almost like art. That's what it is. We got to the point where it's like, hey, that's about the thickness you wanted at. Now you could feel it as you were going. It was like, oh, that's sharper than I want it to be. I want it to be yeah. more even. And I don't know if there's much this way right here because we've worked so much here. Yeah. But you don't necessarily need a ton up here either, right? So yeah. You run the sander for a second, you can totally feel it. You just kind of go around a little bit and like, oh, there's your humps and stuff. I like it. Yeah, so basically we router such a large section that would take these holes out, mm -hmm. right? So these ones might be like the widest ones apart or whatever, and, just, and slap a piece of like the oak or whatever in there, sand that. Mm -hmm. What did we do today, Russell? <laughs> Uh, well, we made our little, little board that has a dish in it. Yeah, so you can't really like see it, but there is a slight dish in it, and you can see when Russell pushes. Maybe that's a little hard to see. Yeah, but see. it flexes, it goes down in. So that does a couple of things. One, there's a theory, and we're not expert acoustic guitar makers, right? But one is that it helps with sound, so you have a better chamber, more of a bowl type chamber for the sound. The other is that anytime you flex a wood, it gets a little bit of strength, or really anything, right? On anything pushing on it in the other direction, so that adds some strength to it. So we did that, and we sanded this back so let's get this one out so this is one of the backs it's a three piece has some really cool stuff to it and then then we've got this one this one's a four piece it's because of the thickness of the material that we have all kinds of stuff like that and you may be able to tell if we look really close we've got some holes in the center of this one we have a plan for that um, so that those won't be there. So that's where we are today. It's fun. Thank you, Russell. It's awesome. Thank you for all your help. And next time, hopefully, we'll be able to build the, the what did you call that? The bracket that like pushes it down? Go bar press. <laughs> go bar press made by GoPro. Just kidding. Just go bar. <laughs> Next time on the build show. <laughs> Stole that one. <laughs>